You're live on YouTube, Tash. I'm live, You're on, live YouTube. on YouTube. This Woo. is a beautiful thing. We better beautiful let people thing. see you, really. It really helps oh. if the uh, page where I changed the cameras over hadn't just decided to reload. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Does Facebook have us or are we going to Happy New Year all over the place well, again? I'm hopeful. Are we? Yes. Oh, I like hopeful. We've gone live all over the shop. Oh, crikey. Hey, that's all right. Yay. Steady on. Easy. Don't get used to it, everyone. There'll be some shambolic behaviour, I'm sure, to follow soon. But today, live everywhere. I was going to be really organised today. I know. Yeah, then life happened. Yes. Good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a fabulous day. Look, my desk is nearly tidy and clean. Nearly? Nearly. But look, I did make this. Ta-da! Ta-da! It is... Right, so it's a massive tote bag. It's there it is. beautiful. In the brand new cave, we're going to take a little close look in the, uh, at that in a minute. Whit woo, indeed. And look at this. Can we go over, over the heads? Of course we can. For the first time ever, I've put a zip on it. A totally secure one. It is. But look, you see, it pulls up so that you can then get all your stuff in there. I've got to sew up the turning through gap. Edwina will love this, my mum. She loves a safe tote, she doesn't she? She does love it, a bit of security in her bag. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, this is what I thought. So, Gemma, these instructions were going to be finished last night. Yeah. Do you know what happened? What's that then? I did the zip this way and then hated it. So I then had to do it. I, I, that's why, you know, when you said the instructions are all deleted, what's yeah. happening? I've only got step four left. It's because I... Because I'd part done them and yeah. then couldn't nope. finish them and then nope. very confuzzled we were. Yeah. All the confuzzlement. Yeah. But look, it's got a zip. This has taken me so long to work out. My head did not want to do this. It wanted to stay drinking wine and eating cheese. Is it one of those things, Tash, where the working out of it was really complicated but the making of it is not so? Yeah, because, oh, good. because, because I did it a really complicated way and now I've done it a really easy way. <laughs> and because and I wanted to do this because you know I'm like I love I love 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 a big cave print and also I was chatting to, on zoom to all of our lovely members mm. um, and they were like yeah no we need we need big bags so here it is ba -ba -ba -ba. we love a big bag right so I'm going to hang this up we're going to have a look at all of the bundles for it. Can you see it if I hang it up well, I can over if, there? I can if my screen will change. Oh, Come no, it's going to change. Uh, Ooh, sticky button. Sort of. Is. Almost. I'm going to move it across one. Yeah. In the meantime, let's say hello to everybody. Oh, let's do that. That'd be lovely. Um, Happy New Year and all of that. And also, 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 um, I've got a couple of other things to show you, mm. which I heart very muchly. Um, it's been a long time since I've said that. Here we go. Who have we got? We have got, let's have a look. Diane's here, Alison's here, good morning. Jimmy's here, Grace is here. Jimmy, first to spot a lovely um, spelling error in my post this morning. Well done, thank you for that. Um, Tracy's here. Good morning, happy new year. Um, Helen's here, and Martin's here, and Claire's here. Auntie Lizzie Crangle's here. Uh, la, 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 Leslie's here. She says, um, good morning to all my fellow merrymakers. Oh, sounds like a band, doesn't it? It does. Natasha it does. and the merrymakers. It does. Yeah. Um, Alison's here. Good morning. Happy New Year. Love the group chat. You'll be pleased to know I got to the panto in the big top. It was dry and great fun. So, <laughs> Alison was due to go to a pantomime, but didn't realise it was in a big top in Wales. Oh. So it got cancelled because the weather was less than It was a bit blurry. Yes, mm. but we, we needed the update. So yes, yeah, great fun. Um, and as they say in Panto, you're looking lush, love. Do they say that in Panto? They will in Wales. They love a lush. Oh, they do love a bit of lush, don't mm. they? Yeah. I thought that if you were a lush, mm. then oh. you... Being a lush and being lush, two entirely different things. Oh, crikey, it's very mm. confusing. Although you probably have been a lush through the, through the Christmas period as well. Well-oiled. 
Rona's here, Roxana's here, Janice is here, Janet's here, Anne's here, Karen's here, uh, Carol's here, Lowe's here. Oh, Lowe's in Belgium. I thought you were in Germany. I'm confused. Get back a bit. Let's just get back in the nicest possible yeah. way. Uh, Gail's here, Sue's here, Betty's here. Goodness, we're all here. This is excellent, excellent, excellent news. Yes. Um, so Gabriel the way this week oh, is going to run... Huh? I was going to say Gabriel has said uh, Lang may your lum reek, which... Some may go, pardon, what? Because I'm very yeah. aware we have international views. Yes. And it means, it's like a hogmanay saying that means long may your chimney smoke. It's a nice way of saying to people, I'm wishing you a long and happy life. Healthy Excellent. Life. Yeah. I skipped over that one because yeah. I wasn't quite sure it, how to say it's it. It's fine. It means long may your chimney smoke. So, yeah. Perfect. Long I also realised when we... <laughs> <laughs> For New Year, right, don't, don't tell them this, right. But we had, um, I went to see my brother, lots of children everywhere. And we wanted New Year's Eve to see it without them. Because oh. they would be vile. Yes. Mm. At that stage of the night. Mm -hmm. So we did them schmores on the barbecue. Mm -hmm. We did them a disco. <laughs> and whilst they were out having schmores on the barbecue, mm -hmm. we changed all the clocks. <laughs> you did two New Year's. Wow. So oh. they went to bed at a better hour. <laughs> That's wicked. It worked a treat. <laughs> so we did all of our old Lang Syne and everything. Nice. Ten o'clock. Excellent. Shoved them into and bed. Again. And then we're busily eating cheese at the real one. Nice. Brilliant. <laughs> I can highly oh. recommend. Perfect. Just got to whisper in case they hear. Yes. Yes. Um, We've got lots of viewers on YouTube as well, Tash. So we need morning to say good morning on to YouTube. Sue, who says Happy morning, New Sue. Year and good morning all. Good Megan morning. says, yay, I'm early. Happy New Year, Natasha and team. Happy New Year. Uh, Farmer Ali's with us. She says, good morning, Happy New Year to you all. Hello, as does Trisha from a rainy Liverpool. Um, it's rainy everywhere today. Oh, it's horrible. Um, Daryl Hassan as well. And Cynthia <laughs> from Ohio. She says, oh, cheers. Hi. Happy New Year. Ohio to Ali you. Ali H as well. I'm just going to start chopping this. Farmer Ali says, does anyone else feel like that toy that you used to knock over and it would just roll back up? Weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. What yes. Um, my trousers are not going to fall down because they are very well hoiked up. Mm. I'm going to be honest, very well hoiked up. Trisha feels like the Pillsbury Doughboy. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Daryl said, yes, I ate too much chocolate, so I'll have to watch what I eat for a few weeks to lose the roundness. I'm going to say the roundness is a good thing. I, I think a lot of us are in that situation. I'm not going to lie. And um, I'm just going to say, did you enjoy it, though? Because I, I enjoyed every mouthful, so exactly. I have no regrets. Do, 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 do. Oh, we've got people looking forward to learning how to put these zip in. Yeah. This is good. I'm just going to cut a little bit of fabric. Um, I'm hoping Jane is listening. Really hoping Jane is listening. Yay. Because if she is, what I would really like... I'm still tidying. I've done nothing but tidying, I feel. Um, could I possibly, possibly have the Styleville fix, please? Oh, yes. Style Pretty, fix is an essential for this one. Yeah, it is. It's going to be because you want to have that structure. It's integral to it. It's an um, oomph, does it not? Yeah, yeah, it does. Um, and I've changed the measurements on this so many times now. I'm going to have to refer back to my own instructions, <laughs> which is always a good one. But firstly, let's show you some bundles and some things. Yeah. Now, Gemma Gemma I've got various things. Is that my one? Betty yeah. thinks you're a genius, Tash. Huh? The old changing of the clocks. I, yeah, not my idea. My sister-in-law's. This is not her first rodeo. No. Uh, no. no. Claire Angelina says she does the clock change trick, or not change, in October and send them to bed an hour early. Clever. Um. And Leslie says, love, love, loved my advent calendar. I waited until the 27th to open them all. Oh, wow. That's, um, that's, that's some self-restraint, that it? is. She says, long story. The camera... Can someone please let me know what the little bits in number five are? <laughs> Hang on, which one was number five? The organza five? bag with three sizes of little bits in. Oh, yeah, they're rivets. Um, they are rivets and riveting. We did have a <laughs> riveting conversation on the members' uh, Zoom call the other day. And um, I have been asked to do a make using them because so many of you have them now. It feels only fair to make something fabulous. So I've... I've got a shopping basket with my supplier full of things that I'm thinking, oh, yes, we can do this and we can do that and we can do the other. 
So leave it with me. We will sort it. It's going to be a good one. Um, it's just good because normally, what, what was the other day? Was it day three that caused confusion as well? Yeah. The bobbin saver. Oh, so they were bobbin sorter, yeah. Yeah, the bobbin sorter. Uh, that one caused confusion and all other little bits and bobs. Now, the new advent calendars for next year, I've bought half the stuff for it already, Jenna. Yeah. I've had yeah. a lovely time. Good, isn't it? I've got a list in my diary, so I know what we're putting in on which day. Uh -huh. um, uh, and I'm very excited about it because I always am. Now, if you are purchasing for the first time, there are a few things you need to know about our advent calendar. Our advent calendar, I think, is incredibly good value for what you get. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, and I know that some of you won't mind saying, you had, on one of the days, a half metre of Lisa Chandler fabric, which should be over eight pounds. Yeah. Okay, now, if you're getting, on one of those days, something that's worth over eight pounds, you're going to have to have something smaller on, the, on another day to oh, compensate. Cool. It's all balanced out. Um, so we have little knickknackeries and little bits and bobs. This is not mass produced in China. No. Okay, we hand wrap all of these and we yep. do it in recyclable paper. Mm -hmm. So if you are wanting something pristine in plastic, please don't buy ours. No. Please don't. No. Okay, because you, it's not going to be for you. No. Um, for those of you that want something that has been lovingly hand wrapped by the team and a little label with the name, with the number mm -hmm. um, put on it, then that you can then either burn or recycle or do whatever, then this is, you know, that this is for you. And that's, it, it's, we always make sure, we don't make money on these. Yeah. We don't. The no. value is in there. Um, and so you get a few big things, you get some medium things, and then you get some little knickknackery things, you get some patterns, you get all sorts of different things in there. And we know, um, we're never going to please everybody, but we also know by the number of you that come back year after year after year and buy, that the majority of you absolutely love it. So, if that is for you, they are up and running. We've nearly, I'm capping it this year. We're doing fewer this year. We're doing fewer this yeah. year because this year was utterly manic because we kept saying, oh, we'll add a few more and then I had to try and buy everything again. Um, so this year we are capping it. Um, we're keeping our sanity and we've already <laughs> sold a third. Ooh. It was exhausting, wasn't it? It was exhausting, yeah. So we are capping it. Uh, we've already sold nearly a third of the advent. So if it is something that you want, please do grab it. It's on the Natasha Makes uh, website, www.natashamakes.com. It's there, as is the 12 days of Christmas. Now, the 12 days of Christmas, you get three projects and you get all the bits that you need for it over the first three days. And then the fourth day, you get the pattern. Yep. Bits and bobs for the first three days. And then you get the pattern. Dunk. And that's how it works. So it gives you time to make it in between whilst trying to guess what it is that you're going to make at the end of it. Um, so that's how those work if you want to do those in that little lull between Christmas and New Year and all of that. Now, if, you are, if you've got some holiday spends, now here we have, um, this is a great, can we go, yeah, oh, we are perfect. This is a great in-between kit. Now, we bought the, um, the metal uh -huh. snaps. Um, they didn't come with instructions. They were kind of a, for those people that already knew what they were uh -huh. doing. So for those that were beginners that bought it, I have done various tutorials over the months and I've got one ready to edit to put up onto the members page um, as to how to use it because it doesn't, it, it's just a kit, it doesn't come with instructions. But this is a great one if you are starting out. I have only got four of these. Uh -huh. That's it. Now, I will tell you that on the import, the corners got a bit trashed. So we've taken, they should have been 44 pounds, I think. Nearly 44 pounds. Um, so we've taken a, a chunk off because one of the, the pla it's just the plastic that's damaged. Nothing is damaged in here. But what you are getting is a mega kit and it comes with instructions as to what every bit is. So if you are new to your snaps and maybe it's a little step up for you, maybe you've just had plastic snaps before, you've got some metal snaps in here as well, various metal snaps and also what they call corn buttons or we would call rivet, um, not rivets, what would we call those, Gemma, the holes? Eyelets. Eyelets, thank you, that's the one. Um, and so it shows you how to do the metal snap, the eyelets and also the plastic snaps. So this is a great, if you are just starting out and you're just progressing from just plastic snaps, then this is the, 
this is just great because you've got all the little bits and it tells you which bits to use for where. But I've only got four. And I did send an email to the distributor this morning and absolutely say, I can't sell this out at what it should be because you didn't pack it very well when you posted it to us. Oh, right. So, and other, other words were said. Indeed. They were, Gemma. They were. Well, no, I don't blame you, because we do have standards here, thank you, please. We do have standards here, yes, thank you, and please. Do you know what else we have in here? Oh, I love this. Do you want to go close up, because this is a little yeah, thing? Yeah, go on. Yeah. So this is a little needle nanny. It's an enamel needle nanny. Sweet. You can't say that quick, lots of no. times. <laughs> so what is a needle nanny? Well, it's got a magnet on there, so it can... Um, it, what it does is... If only I had some needles. Um, it holds your needle or your pin yep. in place. I love these when I'm cross stitching. Yeah. Stuff as well. See, now I you've always it, got it there. The magnet behind my Ada and the other bit in the front, and I can just always know where my needle is. Yeah. So, Rather absolutely perfect. That I'm um, so, that is, yeah, look. Hang on. Bye. I haven't got many of these either. No, I haven't. Let me get this out for you. So if you can just understand what Gemma's saying in terms of you've got a little magnetic bit there. So you put your fabric in between. Magnet goes there, which then holds that in together whilst also attracting and holding that. Brilliant when you're hand stitching. Yeah, of course, because you can keep it on, you know, on your hoop. So you've so always exactly got what you need. Um, they are fabulous. Love it, love it, love it. Um, put that back in that packet and away we go. The other thing whilst we're on a close-up is I've got these. And they're stickers for your car or your sewing machine or whatever you want. Water bottle. Water bottle. But it's basically love in all your stitchy bits. Nice, isn't it? I only got a handful of those. They were just little things that Sweet. made me chuckle. They've got it on a very souped-up car. Imagine any of our ladies driving a car like that. With love and sewing paraphernalia on nice. it. I'd love that. That would make me laugh a lot. Yeah. So there we go. That is what we have for your delectation today. Nice. Mm. Natasha, we've got some feedback about the advent calendars. Oh, right. Uh, Leslie Freeman says, I absolutely adored mine. Was very pleased with it all. Oh, um, thank you. Caroline Carey. Marrow says, I loved my advent calendar. It's my first year. My friend loved hers too. I'll be treating myself again. Ah, oh, lovely. And, Thank um, you very much. Yeah, Claire Everett says that she's saved her bags that came with all her advent items so that she can dry lavender heads in the summer. Oh, she'll nice. be recycling them that way. Good, 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 good. Because yeah. that um, is the ethos. I mean, I know that you can get them mass produced in China and whatnot, and they're yeah. all plastic and this, that, and the other, and like, you know, like traditional ones where you'd have your chocolates and stuff. But it's not us it's not us it's not us and we like everything to be recyclable we do um, we do carrie also says 12 days of christmas how can i have missed this i don't she know it was a thing she missed oh, it oh it is an well, actual thing don't miss it again no because again we we're capping that one as well we are because and we do yeah we do um we do special little special little goodies for this um now the 12 days of christmas though Tash. yeah I'm just aware some people might not really be familiar with that as a concept as well. It's very upsetting to me. But I did just explain it. No, I know, but like literally a minute ago. How how are they not how are they not knowing about that? I don't know. We talked about it so much. I don't I don't think we talked about it as much as the advents though. No, this is true. The advents have always been such a popular thing. But the twelve days, yeah. Three little projects yeah. for after Christmas, goodies in each day, fourth day you get the pattern. For that for that moment between Christmas yeah. and, and now, when you're just full of cheese and a bit yeah. confused. Constantly. Gives you something to keep your hands busy. Now, chatting to the members, we had a little look at the new, brand new CAIF. Now, this came in um, the Friday before Christmas, so the 22nd, just as the kids were breaking up and everything was crazy and mad. So, um, we put out a lovely little chat with CAIF and Brandon, who bless their cottons, um, came in last minute and went yes 
yes, 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 we'll chat to you. We'll tell you all about it. So they did. Um, so that was the closest that we managed to come to actually showing you these. The members have seen it because as promised, they will get first glimpses of new fabrics, which might change the day that we do the Zooms if you you know something big and huge comes in. Um, we talked about bundles. The feedback was bundles of three, which means that you can do today's make with bits left over for other makes later on in the week. Stay tuned for Jane's perfect pin cushion tomorrow. Um, some have got three different caves. Some have got two caves and a plane. And this was the feedback. They wanted a mix. Uh -huh. So I've done it. Ta-da! It was lovely actually because it, it was, this feels, you know, this now feels quite one-sided. It's just you and me. Yeah. But it was just lovely to, oh, could we do this? Could you do that? I've made a note of everything before my menopausal madness forgets. Yeah. So this one, you have got a floral, you've got your bean stripes, and then you've got your lichen. People seem to be likening, liking the lichen a lot. Oh, it's yes. a beauty, that's why. But look, doesn't it pick up? They just all pick up all the colours in all the world. That's a stunning bundle. It's a good one, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm Mm -hmm. Make a fabulous infinity scarf. Oh, yeah, you see, you would infinity scarf these up all well, over the place, wouldn't you? If you've got these bundles, you can make two infinity scarves. One to keep, one to gift. Would you gift it, though? Well, if you've got one to keep for yourself, yeah. Okay. Uh, well, or yeah, sell. One what to if sell. You, oh, they yeah. sell really well. They do sell really well, actually. Uh, so this is the one that I have demoed in. You. So you've got your lattice here. Gorgeous lattice. There's my pansy upside down. You have got, again, your bean stripe. And then I've gone for just a pale blue in there as well. Yeah. But it picks up that and it's in there. So if that is your bundle of choice, and that's the one that I made my bag out. So if you're looking at my bag going, I want exactly that immediately, if not sooner. This is the one. They are ready to go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, let's have a little looky here. Oh, now, you see these ones. So I've tried to put a Philip Jacobs in with it. So this is a Philip Jacobs one. This is the grandiose. So for those of you that missed the interview, uh, missed the Zoom call, did all of that, uh, the ethos was, this is the vintage collection, so that these are ones that maybe have been released in the past, but they've been recolored, remastered and reimagined um, for you. But I just wanted to pick out these purples and these pinks and these pale greens in this. I just love it and keep that purple in for all our purple suits. Such a pretty bundle that. Isn't it? Really pretty. Isn't it? Just gorgeous. Um, Josh did our Zoom call with us. Mm -hmm. And he was like, wow, they look so vibrant. He's still learning about Cave, you see. He is young, but he, he will learn. He much to learn. Mm -hmm. But he's enthusiastic, which is good. Yeah, no, absolutely. Oh, Ali says she'll enjoy her 12 days of Christmas once she remembers the safe place she's put it in. Oh, no, but we've only, we only just sent them oh, out. No. My mum's famous for this. Really if safe. If you put something in a safe place, you knew you were never going to see it again. Mm. You see, this is it, because there is an argument. Some people want their advents, like, as soon as they buy them. Yeah. No, we've, we've been asked not to do that because people can't trust themselves and also because they lose things. Um, what we might do this year is send them out before the very 1st of December. We might send them out the week before yeah. with a week's gap. Because and you otherwise... just have to not put them in a safe place, everybody. Trisha says, ah, oh, the safe place. Yes. yes. We all and know that uh, safe place. Yeah, Daryl says I have a few things in that safe place too. I think that's where all my other socks go. Yeah. So all my batteries have gone. I've bought two lots now of AA batteries for, you know, the, the Christmas lights mm -hmm. and stuff that mm -hmm. run. Can I find any of them? Nope. No. And now I've got some, like detectors in the house that need batteries and things. I, I know I've got two big packs. And they're not cheap batteries. No, they're really not. That's why I've got a drawer. Just for batteries. Yeah. So if anyone knows where my safe place is, we'll find it. Thanks. We'll find it. Now this is the lattice. Look at that. Beautiful. I've put these beans with it. We had. Oh, it's gorgeous. Isn't it? I know. And we did have a bit of a which ones to go with. But then you see, look, you've got all these greens in here. 
that just went with all of those and then pulled out all these other colours. You might just be after a colour segment, I don't know, but you see that goes really well with that and then that goes really well with that. It's up to you whether you want to use that with that. These are these are just fabric bundles. Serving suggestions. You don't have to use them all together, but they're kind of a colourway that have colours that pick out each one's in them. Um, so we had um, we had a quiet Christmas, just the two of us in Cornwall, because various ex partners had our children. Mm -hmm. um, I've never done that before. No. Never had a Christmas where I could just do my own thing which was fabulous and oh I'm not I can't show you that one do you know why no. I can't show you that one because no. it's sold sold out gone it's already gone yep um and uh so then we had a later Christmas with all the children and parents and everything else once the they'd chaos. been to see okay general chaos yeah. yes I can't remember what I was going to say about that I have no idea can't remember but it's been a nice blend of activities then hasn't it it's been all sorts it's a bit of a blur now <laughs> it's a bit of a blur it's all a bit of a blur yeah put those together i know yeah i i didn't i didn't think i would like the lichen fabric as much as i do mm, i love it i really love it and it's going to be fantastic in makes it's just because it just picks out colors from everything it's, else so beautifully it's like the poshest blendy you'll ever yeah. see it's too schmancy to be a blender, but it's I know, I know, I know. But you see, it's perfect for it. This is so lovely for handles. Yes. On these makes, it is. It's just so much fun. So I was going. I was going to debate which one of these to make my um, to demo in. Yeah. And then I remember Gemma. We had some new fabric that wasn't cave that had come in that was just absolutely perfect we did, we did. as well. So that we haven't flashed or aired. So I'm going to demo in that. But these are all there for your delicate. Oh gosh, I've got three more bundles. Now this bundle here, Natasha, that fabric there, at yes. first glance, people might go, oh, that's the fabric Natasha used in no. her bag. No, it's, it's not. not. It's not. No, it's, it's different. It's got a grey background, yes. not a uh, blue background. It is a different one. But it is still that lovely soft colouring. Yes. So to go with it, we've picked out these greens and brought out the pinky ready tones. And you see, Gemma, I think I would have to actually buy some planes to go with this one mm. to make it go further. Bit of magenta. It is a little bit of a gem because, look, you've got all those purples in the grandiose and all the greens, so they just... <sighs> if you are wanting some planes to complement any of these bundles, please just pop white or black or something like that cotton plane into your basket and then pop a note on to say, can you please choose me, you know, some pinks or some blues or what, just give us a sort of vague area of colour that you'd like and we and will, we will match select it whichever for you. one is the best. We do that... A lot for people. Um, I don't know other companies that do it, that have the manpower. It's not even that we have the manpower to do it. We just like doing it. The best way to do it, though, I know, I know, I know some people like to put, you know, you put your order in and you don't order your plane. You put a note on to say, are you able to? The answer is yes. So the, the best, most easy and efficient way is to buy white or black or something just, you know, generic, generic and pop the note and say, please change my white to, and it, it might be that you put three units in, and you say, please change my three units of white to half a metre each of a pink, a purple, and a green to you match my that. bundle. And we will do that for you. Yep. Yep. And it's a really quick changeover for us. blues and purples. I love this. This is always my favourite colourway. I know, I always, know, I know. Always. I know. I love the drama of those... It's gorgeous, the isn't it? and the chartreuse colours with the blues and the... Just oh, stunning. Oh, yeah. Just grandiose stunning. Print. I mean, Philip Jacobs, we know, bless him, he is a genius. He is when it comes to Kate, those... Yeah. As is Brandon, but when but it comes to florals... Right, because you go from having those blues yeah. and those purples... The stunning softness of this. Oh. And it's just such a complete change of pace. Yeah. 
isn't it? Just a complete change of pace. So I've put a darker grey in there, which is in here, just to pick it out. It's in here, the leaves here. Oh, it's delightful. But wait, because I know. then... I see it, it's winking at me. <laughs> look at the lichen. And it just picks out these buttery tones in there. And mustard grey and white is a favourite amongst so many, isn't it? Adding those into your lounge and cushions, things yep. like that. Oh, it'd be amazing. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. Yeah. And that's the beauty, isn't it? I mean, you could make a lot of cushions out of these. You could have these, you'd have just, if you wanted to save fabric and be really frugal, just have the fronts out of these backed in this yeah. or edged in, you know, what, just. Definitely. <sighs> Natasha, if people fall in love with these bundles and they yes. think, well, actually, I want to make cushions or I want to make a quilt. Yes. Um, we're going to cut these bundles to order. Yeah, so if you want to buy more than one, so they're half metre bundles at the moment. If you want to buy two, then we would cut it at a metre length. Yeah. Okay, so they will be cut to order. Um, have you seen the scraggly end on this? End of bolt piece, beginning of bolt piece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But you see, someone who gets this is going to look out because they're going to get a little bit extra. extra. Yeah. But yeah, just please don't think that that dreadful cutting was me. <laughs> really wasn't. And that's just where the start of the bolt yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, because do... they're all my favourites, yeah. I'm going to demo something completely Why different. Why not? Tash, just to quickly add, though, if people are buying more than one bundle, yes. um, so say you've bought you know, two or three quantity, yes, we'll cut it as a continuous length, but do just pop a note on your order to say, please cut continuous, and we'll make sure that that happens. Yes. Yes, because we have had the odd occasion where someone was like, well, no, I was buying it for a friend. Yes. And now I've got to cut it. And also because we've got some that are cut already, you've seen them, they're in front of Natasha. Yeah. You know, we have got some cuts, so we'll just make sure that those aren't the ones that go to you. Now. Um... You sent me a message this morning going, are you sure you want to? <laughs> yes. yes. What are you doing? Yes, I do. Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? <gasps> oh, now. I feel there's <laughs> going to be some hearts thumping around the country because two pen, Tash. Yeah, I know. What are you going to do? She doesn't do stuff all that often. No, but when but she does. get our hands on, but when she does. Yeah. It's a corker. It's quite special, isn't it? Mm. Um, so you can fussy cut. Look at that. Isn't that fabulous? It's divine. So, you, or you might just want to use this panel. It is a panel that's more than half a metre. It is 24 inches. So you've got, so that's what, 65 centimetres, 60 centimetres? 60 centimetres, isn't it? Now, what you are getting with it is a half metre of this <sighs> which is divine, divine in itself yeah and then you see so for me this is going to be handles this is going to be my lining because and that I've, blue just belongs with it all thank it you it would be is. rude not to mm. um and i've somehow got to fussy cut <sighs> this panel I don't Although, because that. it's a larger panel, I might be able to get some of my other bits and bobs out of it. I'm going to see. Did Jane Ninja the uh, style bill fix into the room? You know, all stealth-like, no. quiet. Oh. No. Jane, can we please have the roller style bill fix if you're listening? Please, please, and thank you, please. Um, we only have what we have of this, and when it's gone, it is gone. Along with the cape as well, to be fair. Oh, no. no. Um, and we've already sold out of that there fabric that you were going to wave in front of the camera and I went, no, And gone. couldn't, no. It's gone. I'm going to peg this up here behind the Odile. Right, so we have got an email going into Odile today. Yep. Because lots of you have gone, well, you've sold out of the Christmas panel. But I wanted one and I wasn't quick enough. Those fastest fingers were not fast enough. So... We'll do our best. I can only ask the question. I know they saved some for their own sales. Whether they are willing to part with them to us, we'll see. That's your butterfly panel, isn't it? Gorgeous. Stunning. I mean, you don't have to use it for this bag. 
Can I be really honest and tell you another reason that I'm using it for the bow? What's that? I might have miscut the first panel. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. No. Which means it's an easy one to then go, ha ha! We shall simply use it. So, we are, look, there we are. So, Natasha, the, the, you did just quickly mention the O'Deal, but we put that out as a pre order situation, didn't we? Yes, Unboxing yes, day. yes. So, O'Deal, bless her, did a lovely. Um, I love this with O'Deal. She's showing us different bits of her workshops and this and that and the other. That's so nice. It's really lovely. I feel very special and very, very kind of. Well, honoured, really. So we looked in her painting studio. We've been in her caravan. <laughs> to go rootle around in her caravan, didn't we, last time? Mm -hmm. um, and this time we have been, yeah, in her, um, in her paint studio. And I love the fact that all of those, um, all of the, these, this started as a border that she was going to do in her kitchen. She must have the fanciest kitchen. Can you imagine? Uh, and then she realised that actually it just needed to be a thing. So it is now a thing. Um, I'm going to fussy cut some of this out. Oh, Gemma, it's tricky. It's really tricky. Gemma's not listening at all. I'm just messaging Jane to ask for the Starbuck for... fix. I had to say it's tricky. It's tricky. But I was dealing with the other tricky aspect of the fact you've got no interfacing currently. I'm going to move these out of the way. You I know, love them that all. shenanigan. That old chestnut. Um, how are we looking on the snap bundles? Oh, those have been flying out like hotcakes. I'm oh, not sure they? we've got any left. I'll have to have a peep. If it's... you've got one in your basket and they're still showing us available, you've probably got the last one, so grab it. It may be gone. Like I say, I, and I, I, they should be a lot more expensive, but because they got trashed on the corner, and it's just the packaging that got trashed, um, I've put a big old chunky discount on it. I have. I am good like that. But it doesn't affect the actual bits and bobs. Right. Right, right. I'm just trimming everything off. I meant to do this beforehand, but we had a bit of a sad occasioning in the field this morning. Oh, you did. So, yeah, we did. I'm just going to have a little look at this beautiful fabric, though. Make us feel all better. Yeah, for those of you that don't know, we have um, uh, quite a lot of old horses that we cosset until their end. Yeah. And unfortunately, this morning was an end. There was. But he was... Trying to work it out, 27. It had a blinking good innings. Now, um, for those of you thinking, why is she using this split ruler? I got this, I bought this for like £2.50 in a packet of nuts off sewing quarter when it got one of the slightly less than gentle. Um, no. mm, might have snapped it. I've never known a creative grid snap, but it's such a useful one. And I really love it. Um, morning, morning, morning. Thank you morning, very much. Starbucks. Thank you very much. Um, and it is just very, very useful. And I fixed it with some super glue. <laughs> Fix or bodge? Uh, well, do you know what? <laughs> That's the same thing. <laughs> For five years now, this has, this has done the trick. So you tell me, fixed or bodged, or works. Your plas plastic snap bundle, that, I mean, they went. Did they, they go? Went. Yeah. They just went, did they? Yeah. They went, they did. Good Within home. minutes. Within minutes, I tell you. Oh. By 17 minutes past 10, they were gone. Right, okay, so. We're going to just have bits of, bits of butterflies, and I'm kind of okay with that. Okay. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Well, because we either have that bit there, I'm going to have a big bit, and then a... Bit, bit. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. What I love about Sue Penn is these kind of boutique looks she has going on with things. Just, oh. They're beautiful, aren't they? Yeah. Really, really, really beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the, yeah, the beauty of this really is that, of course, you can just, you can fussy cut, you can actually see what you're doing. My iron is on. 
Now I have done this um, 19 inches, just in case, um, just in case, you know, you, you buy half meters from someone else and it's a bit wonky. Sometimes that can be a thing. But look, there's my panel. Isn't that rather glorious? Stunning. Yeah. Stunning. I can see you liking these bundles, lady. I so. say ladies because that's just buying them at the moment. Hmm? I've just seen the very wise lady who bought two bundles because she knows, doesn't she? She knows, yeah. If you buy one, you're going to stroke it and put it in your stash and stroke it. Whereas if you buy two, you just crack on using it, can't you? Yeah. You still know there's one in your stash. Then once you've made one thing with it, let's be honest, at that point you go, oh, yeah, OK. I've, I've done it now. I can make some more stuff. I'm just, so just making me. sure... Just me that keeps things, but if I've got two, I'll crack on and start making, and then I'll use them both. It's one to keep, one to, yeah, one to, yeah. one to one stroke. To cherish. Yeah. But, but once it is I've done though, it, isn't it? I'll use them both. It's bonkers, isn't it? We are quite mad. I've decided. I don't, and also, Sue is one of these designers that when it's gone, it's gone. Yeah. They don't do reruns. Nope. So Kaif is one of the only designers that has a classic range that is always in stock. I say always in stock. You've still got to actually try and get it into the country. Not quite. Which is not always the easiest thing to do. No. So I've just adhered that with a gap around the edge. That's a piece of style that I bought from home. Yeah. There is something about style for which means that the cats want to sleep on it oh. always. And if it goes home, if it goes in my house, that is the place that they will sleep. The end. You can't stop them. Because it's spongy and cosy and fabulous. It is spongy, cosy and fabulous. You are quite right. <sighs> oh, Danielle says, can I ask when the Odile pre-order items are due? Um, Danielle, Odile's only back in today. In fact, so... Julia, who does all their ordering and yep. stuff, she's not back until next week, but we're hoping that Thierry will sort those out yes. for us. So we, and, uh, you know, we did try and make that very clear. From the beginning, that so you know no this hurry. would be okay. No hurry at just all. excitement. She says, I've been poorly, I've got oh. no clue when to expect my parcel. I'm just enjoying watching live for a change. So I'm not back at work yet, not and yet. That's fine, but you know, with, the, with Odile pre order, because it's being imported as well, you put your order in, we close it off, and we'll close that off today. So, if anyone does want to buy more Odile, perhaps you've ordered some and thought, mm, perhaps I would like a little more. It, it's not that we're going to have all the stock in all the world arriving, we're ordering what you have ordered from us. Yes. So if you want more things... It's, it's one there. of those things. What used to happen was we would do the shows. We would order fabric in and we would do the shows. Um, and then we'd, there'd just be frantic phone calls of, oh, have you got some more of this? Have you got yeah. some more of that? So now what we do is we just... We let you... We take their stock. They put it aside for us. You buy what you want. And um, we then put our order in. Yeah. So this is going to be my other outside panel. <gasps> Gemma, look at that. <laughs> She's a beaut. I heart it very much. And it's going to look so different to the cave ones. So different. So different to the cave ones. Um, whilst I'm at it... I am going to... I don't wonder if I can do the handles out of now. I don't think it's... I haven't left it long not, enough. If not, that has got glasses case written all over it. It's got... I mean, these are not scraps that you... No. Because this is a slightly larger... Like I say, a slightly larger piece. Oh, how wide is that? Oof. Oofed. Um, yeah. I'm just seeing what I could... Uh, but I could shenanigate out of all of this. How wide is that? Almost five. So I'm going to need for the um, for the handles for the um, zippy bit. I'm just seeing if I can salvage any of this for that so that I'm then not using 
or my other one. So I'm going to need some two and a half inch strips. So I'll take some of those. This is one as well that I like to keep um, any scraps in my stash for um, e any EPP that I do. The thing is, there's so much going on in this fabric. That yeah, I know. This gives you a new hexi, so it's amazing for that. Right. Let's see where we are at now. This is not going to be a quick show today, guys, by the way. If you've got somewhere to be, you might want need to watch this back. Yeah, my my little uh Your lion's having a little chat, isn't it? It is having a little chat. Yeah. Good old chinwag. Right, I'd hope to get all my cutting done before, but not to worry. It's not the end of the world. So they will be my zip bits. And then... I need another end bit. And these will go across. I've been generous with these. Um, and now I need handles. I need to get a handle on it. <laughs> you need 80 millimeter blue Selena waist shape for this, Natasha. No, I've got that here. I do actually have that so here. So that is the perfect thing to use for this make. Yes, it is. That is what you have used for your hand. Yes, yes it is. Um, I've yes. used the 80 mil. Yes. In fact, we've never used it to shape our waists. No. We use it to shape our handles. Christmas has shaped my waist. Yes. <laughs> yes, exactly. It would be fair to say Christmas has already done that job for us. Hey. Right. I'm going to have to cut into this for my handles which is quite exciting. Now, if you've never used your Creative Grid, um, your Stripology, if you're just starting, um, I've done these three and a half inches wide. So I've cut it, cut my straight line, which I'd always do. And then I've just moved it to the first dotty line there, which adds a quarter of an inch because these are at half inch increments. And so I can cut that. And I know that that is three and a quarter inches because this is a quarter of an inch past the zero line. So it's added on. Right. And I reckon I can save the rest of that to do something else with, which I'm rather excited Amazing. by. I know, right? Very excited about that. Uh, now these I am going to, you can do these by the way, any length you like, but I'm going to do my handles to 30 inches. It just is what suits me. But if you have a different length that you want to do them, don't think, oh, I can't because Natasha said no. You are absolutely fine. You do them however you like. This is not a problem. So they're going to be our handles. And then I need to get a piece of zip. And I need to find one. I'm just having a little rummage because... I am just wondering if that is the that is the rainbow. <laughs> I know it's a bit woo, -woo this one, um, and I'm just going to trim that down. So if you've got that dark rainbow zip, maybe this will be the project for it. I do. Well, and there are lots of people, Tash, that are scared of zips. Yeah, I know. But we don't want them to be scared of zips. No. If we're honest, were we not those people? Completely. Yeah. Yeah, we were completely. 
Should we do the zip now so that we've done that bit yes. and we can put it to one side um, whilst we've got it here? So we are going to just rip that in half. Sorry, not sorry. It's done. Um, I am going to get my quilters wash away tape. I refer to this in this pattern as just tape. Just tape. Which would be great if I could find it. I tied it, Gemma. Oh, see. What a bad idea. <laughs> and for those of you that have not used it you just put a run of it along there dee, 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 dee. Tash, I think it's fair to say that you don't tend to entertain the idea of approaching a zip without this tape oh god no I can't actually remember the last time that I put in any kind of zip without it if I'm honest the only time that I might is if I was doing something with sewable plastic that had a lace zip that I couldn't wash. It's the only time. Um, I'm going to get those two and a half inch strips. They are going to overhang off the edge of these. So peel your tape off, grab one of these. You, and there's going to be a good half an inch overhang. You'll see why in a minute. Just neatens everything up. It just means you're not going to be stressing about stuff. I can't be bothered with stress anymore. No. So if it means cutting something slightly larger and then trimming it back, that's what I'm going to do. Is it going to stop raining at any point? No. No, I don't think so. I think it's just decided to settle in for the day. And I'm going to do that with my other zip as well. So we're making a sandwich, right? Imagine this has got but your not an edible on. sandwich because we've eaten enough over Christmas. Oh, what was your favourite thing you ate over Christmas, Gemma? Um, now, you see, I haven't eaten tons over Christmas because I've just <laughs> felt absolutely shattered and been asleep most of the time. But oh, probably Christmas dinner. I do, but then I do love, I have to say, getting all the Christmas dinner bits and making a big old sandwich the next day. <sighs> like hot meat and, yeah, stuffing and... All the things. All the things in, in all the sandwich. world. Pigs in blankets, the whole shebang in a sandwich. Wow. Yeah. So just in case you hadn't got <clears> enough <throat> carbs, whack a few extras yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. But then you do that at the chippy as well, don't you? You have a scallop batch. Yeah. Then I haven't, I hadn't done for like 20 years and then I found somewhere that did them. I was like, oh, hello. Hello, double carbs I used to eat in my youth. <laughs> so I had one, didn't I? And went, oh, oh this is my favourite thing I'd forgotten about. So I have, oh, yeah, I've had a couple just before Christmas. But no, I just, I do love a bit of Christmas dinner in a, in a bap. Why not? What about you? Uh, what is my favourite thing that I've made this year? Oh, do you know what? We did tomahawk steaks for Christmas. Well, it was meant to be Christmas Day. <laughs> Didn't end up being Christmas Day. But we day, might have eaten an entire charcuterie board and had a couple of bottles of Prosecco before lunchtime. So uh, we went for a very long walk instead and uh, had our tomahawk steaks the next day which were delicious, and they were delicious. And we roasted tomatoes, vine tomatoes. Nice. Um, to do them with. I'm just gonna sew down there and there on both of them. Um, and, uh, and baked mushrooms. It oh, was lovely. delish. As you can see, I have not slowed down my sewing. <clears throat> you can throw all those bits away. Oh, no. Still on. There we are. It takes a moment, Tash. It's not as quick as you. Who is? No, quite. Who is? Quite. I mean, you can understand it, right? Speedy Gonzalez. Right. I would fold and finger press these back. You can do it one at a time if you want. And that as well. And then give it a little press. Just be careful when you are pressing with nylon zips. Oh yeah, don't go don't wanna... heating up those nylon teeth. 
No. But what we do, do want to make off. sure is that you've got these so that they're even on the back. There we go. Okay. And then we are just going to top stitch down that top. I will just quickly press these away as well whilst I'm here. We did a very nice Christmas ham as well, actually. Well, oh, Gammon. Yes. Gammon John. We found um, Christmas Eve, we were out walking on the beach down in Cornwall. Mm -hmm. We were driving home and we found somewhere called the Bearded Brewery. Okay. So clearly the car veered off down that driveway <laughs> <laughs> because it was all ciders. Oh my goodness. Mango cider. Oh. Cherry cider. Wow. Mulled cider. All the ciders in all the world that this guy with a massive beard likes to brew. Amazing. Yeah. So obviously we took quite a lot of that back with us after he let us taste it. And because we were super soaked from many dog walks in the rain, we felt we'd earned it. Right, I'm going to sew down, just top stitch down these. Okay. And again, because we've gone slightly longer, you've got room to get going. Base that did a little auto-correct on us earlier. Instead of snap bundle, it came up with snap. Snack. Instead of snap, yeah. they came up with snack. Oh. Which sounds quite appropriate for us. I'm going sugar free for January. It's very upsetting. Oh. I know. I know. Um, right. There we go. At this point, you want to get your zip tool insertion tool thing. Yep, I've got all the words, Jim. Put your front of your zip in there. And we're gonna go right sides face down. And that's how easy it is. It is. It's about having the right tools for the job, isn't it? Yeah. It really is. Look at that. And if Natasha didn't have a zip pull tool, I wouldn't be doing this. And mate. her tape. <laughs> I wouldn't be doing a mate. She'd be doing something with some snaps instead. I'd be doing something, yeah. <laughs> and we're just going or to a apply a open snap tote bundle. Knows it. Yeah. It's true. Gemma oh, knows me too well. Ginny. Tash, can you please send some love to Ginny Mackey? Ginny Mackey? She says, I'm late. Oh, I'm sorry. Send you love. Happy New Year. Felicitations Happy New to you Year. All. Happy New Year. Spent Christmas in hospital with the vid. Oh, no. Still a bit wobbly, but thrilled to be watching the demo. We're oh, Ginny, we will darling. send gentle hugs to we you. Do. Very That's gentle. Horrid way to spend Christmas. It's rubbish, isn't it? Really rubbish. Really rubbish. Um, I'm evening off this end. Okay. Now, <clears throat> what I suggest you do is get your zipper well out the way. And pop a little pin as close as you can. One one way, one the other, just to sort of hold it in place. You can then sort of shenanigate that together right to then try and make that as straight as possible dee, 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 dee. Yeah, betty agrees that zip tape is a game changer oh it's brilliant isn't it just brilliant there we go now we're going to pick up these little six inch strips here we're going to fold them in half finger press then fold into the middle and press. <laughs> what are you giggling about oh, now? Just Lisa, bless her. She's, I think she's just typing and <clears throat> she's embodying everything that we're all feeling. I think we're all a bit still confused, dazed and tired. Just put Happy New Year both. Tempting with much love, vileness as usual. Wow. Etc, etc. And then the next message, oops, sorry, meant loveliness, not vileness. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, love and hate, they're quite close, <laughs> right? <laughs> Quite close. <laughs> I love vileness. Oh, loveliness. <laughs> Do you want to know if we'll be getting more of the 100 packs of machine needles in, please? Now our supplier has reopened. Yes, absolutely. For those who are wondering what that's about, 
We do packs of 100 machine needles and they're marvellous. Do you know what? I really needed that the other day. I snapped three needles in 10 minutes. Oh no. It's got to be going some, hasn't it? I just didn't learn the lesson. And the lesson was, <laughs> move your zip pull out the way <laughs> and don't keep sewing over the top of it three times. Uh, but do you know what I made? What'd you make? I made a reclining bean bag. Oh, nice. It's very cool. And I've done it in a child size mm -hmm. because I had much of children to make for. Yep. But actually, Josh said, could I make him an adult one? Now, he is not a small man. He's not. No. No, no. There's a reason that Gemma calls him Hercules. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, <clears throat> I am going to. Um, and I've had a really good idea about how I'm going to do it. Okay. So the pattern is all written. Yeah, I've seen it's arrived. Yeah, I've yeah. No, the pattern, the pattern yeah. was done on the 28th. Mm -hmm. on the, as, as, and that was what I was rushing. So I was rushing to get this done. Um, so, yeah, I'm quite excited to show you that. So it's not a conventional bean bag. These, we folded in half, we folded the raw edges into the middle, like you would your binding. And now we're just going to slot that over. And again, you've got a bit extra on the ends to wiggle with. That's all good. Isn't it annoying when you do that thing, Tash, of like you did with the breaking of your needles, doing something and it being a disaster, mm. and then doing it again the same way? And then not learning your lesson, doing it again, again, again. Yeah, of course. What? I've said to Guy, because Guy, my lovely husband, has this habit of doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. I'm like, that is the definition of madness. Correct. Yeah. That is the definition of madness. Doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. Yes. It's gone wrong. Stop. Have a cup of tea. Have a word. There wasn't, there wasn't time. <laughs> there wasn't time. <laughs> there was no time for tea, Gemma. There was no time for breaking lots of needles either, Natasha. No, there wasn't, but <laughs> they, they were all due. They were all due. And it had to be done. As it was, I didn't manage to get them filled. So actually what I did was I sent the kids up to the bathroom, brought them back, sent the kids up to the bathroom and put all the beans in the, bean, in the bath and they got to fill their own to however much they wanted it to be full. Excellent. Um, so again... You're going to have a bit of overhang, that's fine. And then we're just going to sew that down in place, both ends. That is our placket. That looks rather fabulous, doesn't it? It looks grand. I was looking at it thinking this just looks like a fabulous... I, I kind of want to make a um, zippy-up long pouch now. You know, pencils and brushes and... Oh, yes, my paint brushes. I've got some ideas for that. Good. Good, good, good. I've got... You haven't seen my new diary, have you? No. It's got pages at the back full of ideas for this year. Amazing. I know, which is quite something for me, because I so I feel like I've got my mojo back a bit. I'd got I'd got a bit exhausted, I think, mm -hmm. and just and, and ideas were struggling. But now I'm just like, and we can do this and we can do that. Do you know what it was? I went on one of our suppliers' sites and found lots of different fabrics. You know what I'm like for a different fabric. The fabrics generally in Yeah, the they do. So if I haven't done, if I've if, if you've just done the ordering and I haven't been and had a rummage mm. to see what they've got, so here we go. And then you can just trim those back in line with everything else. Let's do that. In actual fact, it's a very good point with Natasha. I think some of you do wonder where, where the ideas come from, but sometimes the fabrics inspire the make. You see it and you go, I know exactly what that needs to be. Mm. Um, but more often than not, these things are born out of necessity. Where you'll yeah. say, I could do with such and such an item. And then yeah. you design it around that. Or we come in and say, Natasha... I wanted this, but it's not good like this way. And I, and I know that like your that. mum has wanted a zipper tote for yep. a very long time, which is absolutely fine. Um, but I couldn't work out how to do this bit. And I did, I watched, I watched a tutorial for someone that had a lace sit. Mm -hmm. So they were fine. They just did two little panels mm -hmm. and then just sewed the zip on top. Mm -hmm. Well, that's easy. But yeah. I didn't have a great long lace zip. Nope. So I was like, well, how do I do it? And this is how we do it. Now, what I just want you to check mm -hmm. is that you don't have lots of leftover. If you okay. do, it's okay. What I'm going to say to you is just trim it back a little bit. I'm going to have to go in with my massive... I mean, lace it's a lovely tash, but they are... Hard to get hold yeah. of and really expensive. Well, quite. That was, yeah. They're a premium price and they're not, they're 
they're not readily available. So you can design it using the continuous tape. What, and the continuous tape, as we know, is just great. So all I'm going to do is just make sure that this is completely straight. And then it doesn't matter if it's not. If it's not, then do a quarter of an inch seam allowance in a minute. If it is, then what it means is that I can then do an eighth of an inch seam allowance in a minute. I'll show you when, when we start to put this on the lining. But we haven't got as far as the lining. We haven't even done the outer yet. So I get a little bit excitable, but that is our zip. Let's put that to one side there. Let's do the handles whilst we're here as well. So let's use a bit of this. Now that said, it's a meter. It's not, uh, here we go. <laughs> if you don't know what this is, where have you been? It's the most fabulous thing. So um, I have got so many bags where I haven't made the handles because it used to be that you'd have to do it like um, big binding or you'd sew down one edge, turn mm -hmm. through and try and get it to press straight was always a nightmare. Or you'd try and add some stuff, it, like whatever it was, it was a bit of a pain. And then we discovered Waste Shaper, which is fabulous. So here's how we're gonna do these. You just put it on the back, apply a little bit of steam. So it's interfacing your fabric, it's doing several things. It's interfacing your fabric and making it really easy for you to now deal with. I wonder if these fabrics are um, digitally printed. Or if they're screen printed. Oh, good question. I can probably find that out. I'm just popping a link onto the YouTube chat for you, Lisa, to pre-order your class needles because they are in stock. Our lovely supplier have got them, and I've got them on their way to us already. I didn't realise we'd sold out of them. No, they, the thing is, I get them in in large quantity and they disappear pretty much as quickly as they come in. So you see now, this is all adhered, and what you want to do is just, and I find this the, easy, the easiest way, start from this end, um, is to fold in, fold in, and just press. Wendy says, I'm obsessed with using two zip pulls on all my zips. Ah. You can. Of course you can. Of course you can. Nice to have. And we sell the zip pulls separately to the tape just for that reason. Well, and also because if you've done, if you've done something like... Um, we did the key fob, didn't we, thing, mm -hmm. which used just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. And then you can always buy extra. And then, you see, you'll just fold that in. Now, I sew down the double-edged side, not the folded side first, um, just in case I go a bit wobbly. Because, you know, wobbly happened. Oh, God, wobbly happened walking down a hill. I fell down a hill on Christmas Day. I mean, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I um I did laugh quite a lot when you told me that. Yeah, um, um, and I <laughs> over nothing, absolutely nothing. Just I mean over some gin. I think. Well, yeah, Prosecco. just just oh, it was Negronis. Uh, I see. Um, yeah, we took a flask of Negronis on our Christmas walk. I mean, we we were proper children, yeah. like, absolute children, and we had so much fun. But yeah, Josh did just turn around and be like, where are you? <laughs> And I was on the floor, face down in the gravel on the road with cut knuckles and everything and a sprained ankle. Like an absolute <laughs> idiot. You laughed about this too. It wasn't just me being horribly mean laughing at you. I, it did hurt quite a bit. Even Mabel was a bit surprised because she was on the end of the lead, which I think is why I went down quite so hard because she was pulling a bit. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I fell over. Never mind. Right, we are now going to fold that and stitch, like I say, down the double side, not down the single side, double side first. If you want to lengthen your stitch length a little bit, then you can. Demolog. 
Can we change uh -huh. the... Uh, thank you. It's, you're too busy laughing, aren't you? So that my misfortune. There's a delay thing on it today. It's no fun. I'm also busy posting lots of little links to people. <laughs> but someone else saying they desperately need one of these zip pull tools. I said, yes, that's fine. You'll find them on a website. So you have to, you're pointing You can buy the, the right zip direction. pull tool with instructions yes. and with, um, with the tape. quarter of an inch wash away tape if you want. Um, if you are. A club member. If you're one, of, if you're part of the Natasha McCarthy Designs members, then there's a tutorial on how to use the zip pull tool. Because we always get asked, "When was the demo? I remember how to do it." Jane Gray is also good at falling over nothing. Absolutely nothing. Feels your pain. I mean, we, yeah, we did go and look as to try and see what I'd fallen over and there was absolutely nothing. And if I sound me laughing, might I point out Tash was laughing when she told me she'd done it. She was laughing a lot. So, yes. <laughs> and I can just imagine it because she's so tall as well. It's been arms and legs all over the shop. <laughs> Flailing. <laughs> really madly. I think I was just a bit surprised. A bit surprised. <laughs> and, just, and just because I was there... And then you were not. <laughs> and then suddenly I wasn't. And Josh did that thing of just looking around, like where my head should be. <laughs> it wasn't there. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> you do it down there. It was a proper childish manoeuvre. Um, you know what I've got to do? I've got to make, cut my lining very, very quickly. And then we are good to assemble all of this together you know so we've done all the all the little bits and pieces that's all done amazing we crack on now it's good isn't it yeah yeah and then this here Do you know what I should have actually got Jane to do? Mm. If I'd have actually thought about it, I should have actually got her to have cut me <laughs> a piece of stuff or fix rather than just bringing yeah. in <laughs> a massive roll of it. Oh, yes. yes. That would have been wise. <laughs> huh? That would have been wise. Yeah, because you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to ask. I know, I know, I know. Stupid, right? Uh, do you know what, actually, what I'm going to do, because this has got a, occasionally, obviously these have to be joined, and this one, actually, this one's had two joins in it. Oh. I know. So I'm just going to cut it so that... That's a nice noise. Oh, viewer doesn't... Whoever orders next doesn't get it. And that's going to keep your that stack. for my samples. Yeah, these are great. I love those. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Let me cut this down. Hey there, you know. Good day. Eh? I'm getting there. I know it's been a bit of a slow process and a bit of chat. All right. But. See, when people say, you know, and where do you get your inspiration? That bit of Starville fix that I've just chopped off will now be bugging me. Mm. And I'll now be sitting there going, right, how can yep. I use that bit? Because I don't like having leftover bits. Chris says, I've only just remembered you're on. But what a oh. great moment to find you as I have that tape and I forgot why I bought it. Oh, there, there you are. go. That's why you bought it, Chris. That's... Why does this feel significantly bigger? How big have I cut this then? And how big did I cut this? <laughs> no, Which right. cutter are you using today, Tash? 
Uh, I've I've dilly dally shilly shallied around a couple today. Oh, okay. Tricky to answer then. Ginny Twin says, "Where can I buy a rotary cutter like yours, Natasha?" This um, one. This I've used a bigger one um, at mil? times. That's the sixty mil one. Okay. Yeah. Otherwise, if it's Natasha's Fiskars one, we, they, you can't get those anymore. But we do have a similar one that's We've our We've got the most seller. similar that we could manage. As to whether we've got any more stuff. Oh, yes. I've got a few more in. And they, yeah. Okay, the Fiskars rotary cutter that we got in. We had a Christmas mega deal on that with five pounds off. Ooh. I haven't had a chance to remove that little discount yet. Just saying. Because you can't go far wrong with this gas, can you, Tash? No, you cannot. I think I've miscut this style slightly by a half inch, but I'm not going to worry about that. No. Just going to crack on. You can yeah. cut it properly when you are not on it. But... Good -o. What I'm going to do is just quickly make the outside. Right sides together. Here they are. With a bit of Malcolm on the back of this one. Lovely. Now the idea that you, is that you leave a gap, a quarter of an inch all the way around. Mine's been a bit wobbly. Um, it's all right though, Tash, because you've blinded everyone with your brilliant zip. Diane Ilsley says, look at that zip. I'd be so chuffed with that. Well done, Tash. And then lots of hearts. Oh, yeah. So we'll just, yeah, we'll ignore the cutting error. It's fine. Yeah. No, it's fine. no bother. Anne Roberts has joined us from sunny Cyprus. She oh, says, I've hi, just bought Anne. the butterfly fabric. To oh, do it. Do it, do it, do it. I think what this shows is, because normally I would, I would try and get all this cut beforehand. Um, but, you know, like I say, we had, a, we had a bit of a death this morning, so things did not go quite according to plan. Yeah, we went well on such no, 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 information. Right, just... However, Claire Angelina did say, she's often been wondered, you know, is it a complicated process? having to deal with a large animal when they pass away. And it is the when answer. they die in the furthest part of a very muddy field. Yes. Yes, yes it is. So that is, that's what the, what it has been this morning is actually, yes, it's very sad, but he was very old. But actually the hardest thing is, how do we now get him out? <laughs> yes. So, um... Tractor is the answer. Tra yeah, it's going to have to be a tractor. Ouch, ouch, ouch. That's why I don't use pins. <laughs> oh, you, you <laughs> yeah, yeah, pins. yeah. Um, yeah. It's, it's not like when you just, you know, pop your lovely cat in a, in a shoebox and... You know, it's not, not as straightforward, unfortunately. Do you know what? I, I, as a, as a... As an animal owner, I think, and any animal owner will understand, obviously it's very upsetting when you lose an animal, but the best thing that you can give an animal is a good death. Yeah. Uh, yeah, look, I am. I've cut that half an inch too short on that side, never mind. Um, is that, yeah. Um, that's fine, because that will be taken up in my seam allowance and whatnot. Anyway, so that is not a bother. I am going to... Um, yeah, is, uh, yeah, so give him a good death. Yeah. And he died naturally of old age in yeah. the field overnight. Yep. Yeah. He had a good life. And a he did have a very good life. But he was one of my favourites. Oh, okay. He's been here for years. Mm. I mean, it really was not meant to, <laughs> to last this long. <laughs> it was not it? It meant to last this long. But he blinking has. <laughs> <laughs> Love him. <laughs> He came with his owner saying, yeah, he's not, he's not going to last long, Tash. Just, you know. Look after him for me until yeah. he, you know. Until he shuffles, shuffles off this mortal coil. coil. Yeah, exactly that. <laughs> uh, but so, no, he had other ideas, didn't he? Did. He did. He's been a having a long retirement great instead. time. I'm going to line this up at three inches, so along there. Um, on that line across there. But no, to answer your question, Claire Angelina, it is quite complicated, especially when there's a muddy field and you've got to get a tractor. And also, no, you can't just bury them in your garden like you can a cat. From no, a you have to. View, you can't. No, they don't. They don't like it. No. Although, what happens when death disappears? Don't know. 
be the next fun thing. Right, and then trim it back. So you're going to sew on that line that you've just that you've just sewn along there, and then cut it back. You're going to do the same here. So make a little triangle. It's just a different way to box bottoms. That's all we're doing. Oh no, it was the fish guard angled ones she wanted. We, we just you can't get those anymore. I've There's your three inch very, mark very there. Oh, well, this one. Mm, yeah. We've not had them for a very long time. No, we haven't. They are good though. Oh, Valerie says, Happy New Year to you Happy and all New the NM team. Looking forward to lots of scrumptiousness with you in 2024. So, so on the line. Yes. Is it too late, Natasha, she says, to what? sign up for the member's subscription? I can't find it online. I hope I've not missed the boat. No, it's open to anyone at any point. We have members joining on a daily basis, which is so lovely. Um, and is really, really thrilling. Um, and no, you can find it. If you just go straight to Natasha McCarty, there's no H in my name. I'm not McCarthy or McCartney or anything like that. I'm McCarty, M-C-C-A-R-T-Y, McCarty, Natasha McCarty Designs dot com. And then you can sign up. You can either go for the standard membership, which is $6.99, and everybody will get the same in terms of, um, we're, and we're adding more every month, um, a new make and if it has templates you can always print off the you will need list and you can print off any templates and then it's a video tutorial um, and then there are we're adding how to's as well so how to insert your zip pull things like that jane's done a binding one she's going to do more binding ones and actually jane later on in the year will also have a quilting one coming out um, so we'll be launching those in the next couple of months as well so if you are dedicated to quilting and you love her twiddle in the middle and all that kind of stuff that will all be on there so we're starting to film for that as well so lots of new things coming this year for you um, but that's where you can find it or if you get the premium membership what happens with the premium membership is that you then get um 10 off your shopping at natasha makes uh, now that is things like when we had the brand new cave you'd have got 10% off your cut to order there. We don't normally offer that sort of discount on premium fabrics like that. But if you are a member, then you do get that. You get a chance to have a look at things when we can manage it in advance, all that kind of shizzle. I'm going to go with yeah. shizzle, do you know shizzle? Uh, that is my bag outer done, by the way. <gasps> look at that, look at that, look at that. It's going to be a goodie, this one. I'm going to pop that to one side. Actually, before I do, I'm going to I'm going to baste my handles in. Oh, good idea. Before you put them in a safe place. Can before I put them in a safe place, yeah. <laughs> and all I'm going to do is I'm going to mark four inches in from the seam. Seems to be my sort of go-to. Or you can just do it one side and then even it out, do it the same the other. And just make sure when you are putting these in that you don't twist the handles. There we go. And then the other side. Do, 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 do. do you know what? It's funny. I know that you say, Gemma, we shouldn't dwell on it, but I don't mind answering questions like that because no. otherwise, how do you know? No. And people should know how the countryside works. Yeah. There we go. I'm just going to baste those in place so that we are good to go. And then I don't have to keep the pins in. <laughs> and then, mm, hopefully... You your angle's a bit blocked by your... Yeah. It's a tricky one, because you've got a big old bag going on. I do have There's a big a old, old bag going on. Sometimes it's just a, a front view yeah. job yeah, is the better so, one. Actually. <laughs> do you know it's what, got a lot know? going on there. Big old yeah. woolens, big old bag. Now... Today or tomorrow, Gemma and I are going to pre-record a sample show for you. Mm -hmm. 
I might pop this in the sample sale. Oh. I know. Fabulous. Because otherwise, I'm tempted to keep it. Have you seen how many bags I've got now? You have got a lot of bags. A lot of bags. A lot of bags. There we go. Oh, no, I'll pop it down there. Right. <laughs> because we're going to do this lining. Got to pay attention for the lining. Give it a quick press. Alrighty, so take one and you want it right side up and we're going to place up our, our zip centrally again right side up. I'm going to get... Tash, when you know when you measure to show where the handles go, was that your little perfect five you were working with? <laughs> yes, brilliant. You've Love had it. a right old bunch of creative grids on the go today. I know, I've got them They're all brilliant, got the, lot. the answer. Got the lot. Um, so this... Uh, do you know why I'm using this, though? Partly, firstly, because it's really easy to use um, mm. to cut my... If I bother to cut stuff correctly. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> my style reel. <laughs> and also because I can use it to um, fussy cut. But also because my Big Easy is in the car and it was raining. Oh, your Big Easy is a I'm not going to lie, I'm such a lazy toad. I looked at the weather today and went, I'm actually dry for once. So no. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, and no. No, 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 and simply no. Uh, so I'm placing this two and a half inches down. And I'm going to pin that in place. We're going to sort of French seam this in a bit. So we're going to sew this where it's going to be, then we're going to flip it and then we're going to sew over the raw edges. It's the only way I could think to do it. This is what has been having me up at night thinking about stuff. It's very exhausting. Emma. So if you you know, we trimmed this back so that it was yeah. nice and flush. If you haven't done that, go for a scant quarter of an inch. Okay. All right. If you have done that, you can probably get away with an eighth of an inch seam allowance. Okay. And away we go. I don't know if your machine's moved ever so slightly. You've got a lot of oh, sleeve. No, probably. Probably. I also have a lot of sleeve. You do have a lot of sleeve, full stop. Because I have my overlocker out. So it has been moved. Can't lie. I'd like to blame Gary for the fact that my overlocker's been out. I'm trying to convince myself that... Not that I don't... I think we all know I'm trying to convince myself that I do actually need that that new all singing all dancing oh, that he's got. Without doubt that is what you're up to. Yeah. Um, and then just flip up and press. Flip up and press. Okay. At this point, if you've got any of your raw edges poking through, just increase the seam allowance slightly. And then I'm going to go in with a quarter of an inch, with a really generous quarter of an inch um, and stitch that from the top. Does that make sense? So we're going to cover that seam. Oh, there we are. Okay, so what we now have is here's the top of our lining. That's the right side of the top of the lining. And we now have that sewn in. You can't see any raw edges. Beautiful. You can't see any raw edges under there. It's the only way I could think to do it. Clever, clever. It's the only way I could think to do it. 
Made my head hurt. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> there was some loud clunking noises. Made there. my head hurt. So now I'm gonna do exactly the same to the other side. Measure down that two and a half. Keep all this bit out of the way. Now it's easy this time because you can just align the sides. And the other thing that I had to consider, Gemma, was if I was going to do this like this, yeah. then the gap here had to be wide enough that you could then still sew your seam allowance of course. without getting it all caught and flustered and everything else in there. Oh, please, could you let Mabel in? <laughs> Studio dog Mabel is tapping at the door. <laughs> She's just she? twigged that something <laughs> is occurring without her. Oh, yeah. Excuse me, excuse me, there's, there's, you know... <laughs> oh, wow. I don't know if the microphone just picked that up, but there was <laughs> a whimper quite a cross whimper. Right. Come on, studio of Mabel. Hi, Mabel. Come on, on your bed. Ah, 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 ah. bed. Oh, hi. So how could you start without me? How could you start without me? And again, eighth of an inch along there. <laughs> really late, part timer. Show's nearly over. Do you know why? Do you know why she's nearly late? Has she not realised you're here today? No. Can you swap the camera, please, when you've stopped fussing Mabel? Uh, <laughs> Come thanks. on, beautiful. <laughs> Poor girl. Poor girl. Are well, you um, busy? So we busy? stayed with my brother, who has got a working cocker. Now, the difference between working cockers and show cockers is energy level. Now, Betty, my brother's dog, does not normally like other dogs. Oh. But you put a spaniel with her, yeah. another spaniel, and that was it. So they have been playing like you wouldn't believe. Now we've got to floof all of that up. Dee -dee -dee. Um, we will stitch. Have I done this right, Gemma? You know when you just... Uh... <laughs> Don't you start that, lady. <laughs> <laughs> it's too late in the day for that. Ah! That's the right way. That's it. Flip it up. Ah, now, okay, good. Case in point, right? I've missed a little bit of that. So that's not a problem. I'm just going to go back. I've gone really scant there and just restitch over that. You don't see any of this, so if you do just miss a little bit like I have there, just go back in, stitch a little bit longer. My mother's appeared. She says Happy New Year. Oh, Happy Eddie New Year. Wiener, Eds. You've, you've inspired the make. She yeah. has. She has. She has. So. It's a tote bag with a big old zip straight Here's the zip. It, all secure. Yeah. So like we did before, and this is the thing with this, you've just got to go back. So if you get yourself befuddled like I just did, go back and lay it out exactly how you did the one before. Because you've just got to flip the hole with the other bit of lining as well. Okay. Give a little finger press, whatever, and then take it back to the machine and sew down there a quarter of an inch. You're going to have to get the rest of it out of the way. And make it a generous quarter of an inch. So that you encase those seams. Does that make sense? It does. So it's like a, it's a bit like a French seam, I guess. So what you then have is that. Fabulous. Yeah? Fabulous. 
And now you're going to have that in the middle and you are going to What Mabel got for Christmas to try and stop her chewing all well, of the Barbie legs in all the world. I see she's got the horn, <laughs> the big horn. She's got a, she's got a horn and she's got a bit of antler. <laughs> but I didn't like to give her the antler at Christmas because that felt a bit wrong no. for poor old Rudolph. Here I have a bit of reindeer. Um, so no, she's got she's got a horn. They do shed their antlers, though, don't they? They do. There's an yeah. amazing video going around at the moment of a moose shedding its antlers. Oh in the wild and it literally just shakes its head and they both drop off at the same time incredible it's but they just stop the blood supply don't they because they need oh. the blood supply for other stuff um i'm going to do these lines one at a time so i'm going to sew down there then i'm going to realign sew along the bottom and just go around nice yeah I just know Ed's is going to be over at some point. I'm going to look through Miss Dash, choosing her fabric and getting me to make her one of these. Yeah, I expect so. I kind of hope so. It's not a complicated make. It's just you've got a bit of fliddly bits. You've done the complicated bit. You've done all the things you did for us. Well, it's never a straightforward thing for me, is it? Because I have to then measure everything, write everything, photograph everything. It's quite a... All of that. Yeah, so along the bottom, I'm going to make sure that I have a turning through gap. Oh, look at that rain again. I know. It's habit going backwards and forwards. I'm going to chop those off when I box the bottom, so I don't know why I'm bothering. But And you can pin all of these. I think it's due to stop raining on the 4th. Got two more days of rain. And then we get a couple of days respite before it starts to snow. Amazing. Mm. Do you know what? It's a good job I like saying, because as an outdoorsy girl, winter is difficult for me. Yeah. Okay, so let's box that bottom again. And it might be that, you know, that's a bit too faffy for you, in which case you might have kept your squares that you cut off earlier <laughs> famous lost words and you can yeah. always use those as a template so there's always always two ways to fix these things <laughs> I'm chuckling at Mabel with a big horn she spotted me chuckling and looked at me all embarrassed like mm. Why are you laughing at well, me? Well, because it's as big as a head. It is, it's huge. But honestly, I, I had to deal with um, Hermione. Uh, well, yeah, Hermione doesn't, isn't quite as full-bodied as she was. Emily had a Hermione Granger toy. Uh, and yes. Harry Potter copped it as well. Hermione lost her... Was it feet or hands first? Well, they sort of went in quick succession. Yeah, um, yeah I just found a leg on the floor. Oh, so, no. well, that's not ideal, is it? Um, yeah. So then you can just match your seams in the middle. It's just another way to do this. So along there. It's all the same. Uh, yeah, no. Yeah. So. <laughs> not your finest moment there, Mabel. No, and of course her aunt has bought Emily a um, Barbie dream house or whatever for Christmas. Oh. Going to have to send it back to her dad's and he's going to have to keep it there because I can't keep Barbies here. I can't, no. I can't keep them alive. No. <laughs> They're worse than houseplants. 
Oh dear. There we go, right. So now we're gonna turn our lining through. Got that befuddled look on your face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to work out. <laughs> I need it right sides together. Joe says, I love your instructions, even for a beginner like me. Joe, this is why we do the instructions. Yeah. Try and make sure that everyone can understand them. We will say, watch your, gem your demos, enjoy them. And invariably, the yeah, the instructions, the instructions are right, and occasionally <laughs> I get it right on the show. <laughs> Occasionally. I'm just going to read here. Natasha really likes it, one of the instructions there in front of her as well. Because with the best one in the world, you can design something. I've done it before and then had to demo it and gone, oh, hang on a minute. I know remember. I've made 27 of these in my time. But, but you I've think... got to have a minute to think that through. Yeah. Yeah. How many things we make. So right sides together, the lining goes in. Um, uh, because I don't like pinning, because I generally pin myself... <laughs> I'm just, I just pin at the seams, okay? As little as possible. Well, because also what I know is that once I've pinned there, there's a couple of little like safety checks that I do, which is to pull it taut. And if nothing bags as I do that, mm -hmm. it's generally right. Mm -hmm. If something bags, you've measured something wrong. Yeah. Okay, so then I can just keep those. And if my lining is slightly shorter, if I bring that up so that I can just see it as I'm stitching round, that's not a bad thing because then you know that your, sit, your lining is going to sit in it, if that makes sense. So let's shift all these bobbins out of the way. Yeah, I think this is a too many things in shop moment again. We'll just do that. We'll do that. <laughs> yeah. And... You can go a half inch seam allowance on this, by the way. Feel free to. Karen Evans says bag handles. She basted those in earlier. No, they're in. Yeah, she basted those in. in earlier, Karen. Don't you worry. But thanks. No, I love it. I've also done a turning through gap. It's like I've, it's like I'm adult in here. Mabel, what are you doing? I was just wondering that myself. Come here. Come on. You do not get to roam free, missus. No. You have your post. You are studio dog on your studio beanbag. Mabel has a second beanbag. I finally finished that one off that I did on the beanbag oh, show. Oh, great. She loves it. My best advice for anyone making any kind of beanbags is uh, please sew the zip down. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Little fingers can't imagine how oh. that happened. It's either that or sewing in a bag for your beans to go in. <laughs> Do you know calico. what? I've yeah, I've I've often thought about this, but if you actually try and make an inner bag, you can't you can't put the inner bag in fully filled with. With, but it doesn't work. I've tried it and I just can't get it to work. So my impatient self goes, enough of this. Just enough. <laughs> um, Your impatient <and> self? <laughs> my good self. <laughs> <laughs> this is quite a long make for me, actually. It is, yeah. Because you are a crack on and get it done type of girl. Yeah. Yeah. Which is great. Jane has the patience of a saint. She does. I mean, she works with me, for goodness sakes. <laughs> you and Jane both do have incredible patience with me. Um, but I don't. So, uh, yeah. You stuff just, just like has to... do all to... the things all at the same time and get it done. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait to see this one done. Crack on, Tash. <laughs> we'll crack the whip now. It's going to look great. Just keep looking at the fabric hanging behind you. It's beautiful. 
It's a bit wit-woo, isn't it? It's a lot wit-woo. Oops. Should have made my turning three gap a bit bigger. Uh, have you done it again, where you've imagined that the bag slash your hand slash whatever is... My hand is morphia. Yeah. <laughs> You can be rough with this because you can just repress. Yeah. Gosh, over fifty percent of the stock of the Sue Pen bundles have gone, and we bought wow. like we thought we bought plenty. We did think we bought um, plenty. But no. So yeah, here it is. You will sew up your turning through gap. Give it a good press, and then wow, yeah, look at that. I know. So, with the seam on top, yeah, top stitch round the top. Yes. Okay. Well, that'll just sharpen that edge up nicely, won't it? Yeah. Won't do that with the zip open. Oh yes. Might help. God, it's proper bucketing down. <laughs> it is. is there any water left for anyone else anywhere? No, I don't think so. We have it all. All the water in all the world. Mm. It's very greedy of us, isn't it? Oh, no, very greedy. And as you top stitch round, you can increase your stitch length. Yeah, because I've got quite a few layers going on there, haven't you? Yeah, you have. But that's okay. Just slow and steady. Wins the day. Okay. Oh, my mother's in love. She says, that's gorgeous. Yeah. Karen says, stunning. Gabriel says, wow, that bag is gorgeous. You know, it, it's true. It is true, but the fabric... I mean, the make is fantastic, Tad, but the fabric is something special. Well, yeah, but you see, it's going to look very different to the cave one. Yeah. So it just goes to show... There's so much you could do with this fabric, though. Well, I mean, you asked me if I was sure I wanted to put this on today's <laughs> show because we did have a, a quilt. Yes. But, do you know, the trouble is, it took so much of that panel fabric... There would have been so many people going, we didn't get it. Yeah. We didn't get it. Whereas this way, we got to offer the panel fabric to more people. Yeah. Lots of people get a bit rather than a few people getting a lot. Yeah. Was our thought. Although I have seen the clever amongst you that have gone, well, I'm going to order a couple. Fair enough. <laughs> They're still not getting that. as much as the court would have taken it. No, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, these are your handles out of... Um, and you can get what's left of this by the half metre. Yes. If you want to get Although a bit I of extra think, of that. I think that might be gone now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, yeah. Sew up your turning through gap. Do up your zip. <laughs> and there it is. Beautiful. Actually, go no, no, it's fine because you can see it from there. But there, that's it. Lovely. Look at that. So it's All not secure. it's not a difficult tote. It's just... And the nice thing about it is that you can really fill it. Yes. It's fabulous, Tash. I love it. One Gorgeous. zipper tote. Or it just pushes down into the bag if you wish. I mean, if you really wanted, you could put a pop on there as well. Wow, well, yeah. But that would be proper belt and braces. It would. So that's that side. Look at that. Lovely. Bit gorgeous, isn't it? Really lovely. So, yeah, so that's it in that. And then in your caves. Oh, yes, please, Jane. And that's it in the cave with your beans. And we've got lots and lots and lots of different cave bundles. So, yeah. again, each one you make would look different, different, different again. Um, and the, okay, so just to say, the only reason that this one has had so much of that left over is because it was 24 inches. Yeah. So I was able to get the placardy bits out of there. Yes. Um, what did Jane just, oh, she's just left it there. She's given you tomorrow's make. Now so tomorrow's, tomorrow's make, make is going to be, um, we're going to put some little fabric bundles together for you for tomorrow's make. We've had this sitting in the wings for over a year now. Mm -hmm. And I, I was going to wait for the new Tilda release, which is happening at the end of the month. I know. But actually... We got a bit impatient, didn't we? We did. So if you want a little make... How cool are these? Little pin cushions. They're ace, aren't they? They're really lovely. And there we go. That's what Jane's going to make. A little change of pace for Jane. Fab. But she did make them go, what do you think about these for a show? And we went, yes. Uh, yes, we love them, Jane. 
that. Fabulous, aren't they? Gorgeous. So out of your scraps, or we'll put some little fat eighths bundles together for you. Yep. Fabulous. Maybe you can get a few then. Yeah. You never know. So that is tomorrow's show. That's what we're going to be making. Yeah. And then we will pre-record a sample show. And with the samples, it's, it's one and done. Yeah. One and done. Some of you have witnessed that through the Christmas mm. period. You know, some of these went up and they disappeared and you may have remorse. We don't like remorse. And I'm going to say, Tash, okay. spendthrift's remorse is so much worse than buyer's remorse. I know. I, I know. say this from personal experience. Mm -hmm. And this might be in there. Oh, Chris Cresswell likes to look a little uh, pinkish and says, those are sweet. It's just different changes of pace, isn't it? Different stroke for different folk. Mm -hmm. Indeed, yeah. I'm going to set that seam. And apparently we don't have all the rain in all the world. Oh, do Because we not? other people have all the rain as well. I don't think they do. Leslie Freeman says, so much rain. Joe Standage as well. Yeah, They're all, they've all got rain. Claire Hang Hampton on, doesn't says, Joe live in Wales? So that's oh, kind of expected. true. Oh, Joe's saying, can't wait for mine to come spend Christmas money from daughter. Oh, so, oh. so nice on Christmas money. Uh, yeah, Claire Upton says, it's raining non-stop here in Banbury. Lots well, of flooding. There's flooding in our village. The, the river's burst its banks. It's all heading up towards the restaurant again. Uh -oh. I really feel for them. Every few years it happens. There's flooding in my fields. No good at all. Oh, lots and lots of people admiring your mate, Tash. Oh, thank you. And there's flooding up where Ginny Mackey is as well. Yeah. In Cooper. Yeah. yeah. There is, all there is. going on all well, over the place. Hopefully it'll all calm down. And we'll be back tomorrow. I just feel smug about the zip. That's what I'm going to say. That rainbow zip has really done it's it for stunning. me today. Yeah. Stunning. Happy days. Well done, Tash. Uh, that's all right. I'm just going to sew up my turning three gap on this one as well. And no. uh, we will see you tomorrow. <laughs> Take care. Lots of love. Lots of love. Bye. Bye.